Well, hey, look What's what up? we got here. Yeah, look what we got here. <laughs> Welcome back, boys. Now, you all are all already winners. Richard, you won Cherry Bounce. You're the next master distiller, my friend. Congratulations, bro. Mikey, you won a tough round in the cocktail mix for the holidays. Congratulations, Mike. You get first pick. Josh, you won the Backwoods Battle. You knocked her out of the park, son. Today, y'all are gonna face a real challenge. That's gonna be a little something different, a little something complicated. Y'all guys gonna be going down to the country store. Whatever you can find in that store, you gotta find you something to make you a mash bill. Now, you guys are all champions, so this is old school to you. But you know, just to throw another little hitch and you get along, make us a meal on your steel while you're running your liquor. I come from the backwoods. And I'm used to cooking your meals at the steel site, because if you leave that steel site, somebody's going to come in and find it. So I spent many weeks cooking, preparing, and eating out of tin cans. So with that being said, we're ready and looking for a fine pairing. You got a big deal here. Number one, bragging rights. And number two, you're going to win a handmade mash stick from mine and Mark's old buddy, Tony Arp, down in Dawsonville, Georgia. He builds a damn fine stick. That'll be something you're gonna cherish forever. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I really want that mash stick. It's like an old school mash stick like you'd have seen back in the old days. I'd be a fool to not want that. All right, guys, you gotta go to the country store. I'm gonna get my buddy Tickle to take you down there. Tickle! All right. We got yeah. you. Some professionals here. We do got we? some professional moonshiners here. They need to go down to the country store. Well, I tell you what, I stocked that thing up just special for these guys. Okay. You all right, fellas. Y'all come follow me. I'll show y'all where Let's we're at. Let's get it. I tell you, fellas, I'd rather sandpaper a bobcat's butthole in the trunk of the car than ever say anything like that to my mama. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, fellas. Y'all got a tall order in front of you today. One, you got to get ingredients to make mash. Two, you're going to have to get ingredients to make us a snack, too. Now, to see who goes first, we're going to draw straws. We got to pick straws. Great. I'm used to getting a short stick. Well, use in the middle. Come on up. Just one of them. There you go. Richard, come on up here, buddy. Down. That leaves you, Josh. All Hot right. dog. I picked the straw, so I get the first pick in the store. It's looking like we're going Josh, Richard, and then Mike. Guess who got the short straw? Oh, Mike. Keep in mind, there's five minutes here. Oh, boy. Josh, you got five minutes, boss. Well, don't start the clock till I no, get in No, no, it's already started. <laughs> it's already started. Oh, man. My name's Josh Owens. I'm from Columbus, North Carolina. I'm the backwoods country boy. Can do a little bit of everything. I kind of just fly by the seat of my pants. A jack of all trades and a master of none. Please don't film that. Turn that camera off. But I make a lot of moonshine. I can totally see a handful of steels laid out here on this concrete. I'm probably one of the guys out of all the guys that try something new all the time. I just pour shit in there and I make it work for me. Sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. So I'm going into this. I have no idea what my ingredients are going to be. I just know that I got to ferment something. I can do that. How long do I have for the mash to work off? You've got five days for your mash to work off. This is a mess. You've got five minutes to get your ingredients. Baked beans, apricots. Oh, shit, I need to shut up, don't I? Yeah, keep calling it out. Look, I spent all day stocking this farm stand. Now oh, you, you want me to tell you where Yes, I did this to you. The ingredients to work with in there were ridiculous. I really was expecting it to be ridiculous. And I got in there, and it was more ridiculous than I thought it was going to be. Hi, dog. This is a mess. I need something to make a mash out of. You can make a mash out of anything. I knew I could get some oatmeal. I knew I could get some fruits and stuff. And I knew I could make a mash out of that, whether it was going to turn out or not. You got three minutes, Josh. <sighs> three minutes. Is there any raisins in here anywhere? Is there? I don't know. Hey, there's some corn right behind you. I know, but it's green corn. It well, ain't well, dried out. Well, that's all right. You're burning daylight. You burn I can't green. help it. Yeah. <laughs> what was it I was just asking for? You don't got you me You don't flood. even know. I don't either. There's raisins. Oh, right there you there. go. Keep in mind, you're making a snack, too. Ah, sweet. What do you look like you're getting right, Johnny? Uh, I think I'm going to get some steak. 
My idea of cooking is throwing some steaks on the grill, eating it with my fingers off the grill, really. I don't like dirty and dishes. I mean, you got two minutes left, y'all. Two minutes. I don't know what to do. You don't know what to do? Well, no. you got plenty to work with, that's for damn sure. This is a bunch of crazy-ass ingredients. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, you better hurry up. <laughs> Make me some ham liquor, Josh. It'd be delicious. When I saw that country ham, ding, 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 you know, it just kind of hit me. It's bacon and eggs. That's my, that's my go-to meal. Country ham liquor. I can see it right now. I knew somebody was going to make some ham liquor before it was over with. All right. Richard, Five you're minutes. next. Leave me something, Five Richard. Minutes. I'm going to leave you something. I'm going to leave you something. My name is Richard Landry. I'm from New Iberia, Louisiana. I'm a truck driver. I work on garage doors and electric gates. I do a lot of things, depending on what day of the week it is. Moonshine is key. That's the number one thing that I do. I do moonshine every day. Isaac, that's awesome. The last time I was here, I had the chance to compete against guys who do this, but not with the notoriety that these guys do it with. So just to be competing against Josh and Mike is an honor, but to win against these guys would be something totally different. Wouldn't be about bragging rights. It would be about just showing that I can do what they do. Josh didn't do anything with that cabbage or that zucchini. Last time I was here, I had the chance to use ingredients that I knew. This time, we're going in blind. We're just walking into the farm stand and grabbing some things. Wow. I'm not expecting the best, but we'll make something work out of it. We're going to do it different. You're going to do it different? We're going to do it What about the zucchini different. and the squash? We're not going to be that different. Is See this for a snack or for mash? Oh, we're going to make a mash with All this right. stuff here. OK, you put that in the bottom of your basket. It'll be mashed before you get done. Better make something. There ain't a whole lot of rhyme or reason to what's over there. I figured I'd try something new. So I grabbed pastries, and there's a lot of them, like cakes. I grabbed honey buns. I grabbed an apple pie. They some sodas. They some cereal. There's all kinds of junk in there. Well, I'm kind of fond of cherry. Uh-oh. Cherries, I love cherries. So I have all these fruits and dates and some cherries. All right. Uh... What you gonna cook is good to eat? You gonna be surprised. Tickle's gonna have some Louisiana in it. Keep in mind, it's That's... just a snack. Just, just, just a snack. snack. I did grab some steak. I'm just going to do a little appetizer. I don't want to get into a three-course meal. I really need to be worrying about this moonshine. The simpler, the better, though, The sir. simpler, the better. I mean, you can take a can of beans, put it on top of your pot if you want to. Are you ready? Yep, Are I'm you ready. done? I'm All ready. right. Richard, you come out with two minutes to spare? OK. Mike, you're the last one, boss man. All right. Five minutes. Roll to it. See what they left you. Oh, let's see here. Look, onions, cabbage, and blackberries all together. Ain't that what they do in Mississippi?